Uh, the game Jordan Miller had is ridiculous. Oh, seven for seven from the. How many points did he end up with? 30. 27. That's pretty good to score 27 points on seven shots. And, and any threes? No, not even a three. That, that loss sat with me for a really, really long time. Um, I had to put it in the past because it was a new season. Um, but like I've said, having the opportunity to kind of right your wrongs almost and, 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 and get past something that, you know, stumped you previously is a great feeling. Um, you know, I wouldn't say I put the team on my back. Like, my teammates did a good job of getting me the ball, um, and, and everybody was in double figures. You know, I think this was a – what I'm most proud of is the will – and, and the togetherness of this team, uh, I don't think we've been down that much at a halftime since a, in, in a very long time. I can't remember. Um, but, you know, we just all bought into to staying together, you know, keeping that hope alive. And, and the way we just willed this one through, um, I think everybody played really well. And I think it really shows, like, the poise of this, of this squad. Uh, I've said it all season long. He's the most underrated player in the country because he's good at everything. Uh, in the summertime, he had a 7-to-1 assist to turnover ratio in practices. 7-to-1. That's, that's ridiculous. That's better than any point guard I know. He can rebound. He defends all different size guys. Today he was switching ball screens at the end and keeping the guy in front of him. Yeah, the, uh, last week he guarded Indiana's center. Trace uh, Jackson Davis did a fantastic job on him. He can shoot the three. He's great at driving, straight line drive, dribble drives. He makes all of his free throws. Uh, he is a great, great player. Simple.